Moore recovering from what's going to be called a massive upset. Glenn Hall taking down John John Florence, but a new heat in the water now. Matt Wilkinson versus Ricardo Christie. Chris Cote here with Ross Williams. We're right into it. 30 minute heat. Lower trestles. You got to get on the horse early. Capitalize on any opportunity. Starting it off right now, your surfer from New Zealand, Ricardo Christie. He went to work early. Within the first minute and a half, he likes it. Confidence coming out of that first wave for New Zealand's finest at the moment. Well, I'll tell you what, Matt Wilkinson uh, is. Micro has been, uh, you know, taking him under his wing. He's been doing some coaching, so he is going to be energized for his buddy. Micro just taking down John John. So Wilco is going to be psyched right now. You can see, wow, great start there from Matt. Uh, how's that left? Nice long wall in it, and then he went to town. It's a couple of big moves for him. So a nice start. But Ricardo Christie, look out for him, the tall Kiwi. This guy can throw a lot of water around. Um, you can see, you saw it, Chris. He, he had some body language there. He was psyched on the on this wave right here. Just a little tail slide to finish. Watch him take a look at the judges. Yeah, he's psyched, but I think Wilco got the best and, and shows something different every time. Uh, just a slight edge here for the first two waves. 5.67 against a 4.83. There's that whip right there from Ricardo. Great start to the wave, um, you know, but we saw that body language, uh, just a little laser pointer, eyeball shoot to the judges. Just, you know, I think he's trying to set the tone uh, and just show the judges, hey, I, you know, I'm going to give this heat a lot of effort. Uh, right now, it's very classic kind of California. Just a little bit overcast gray, nice and glassy. And Ricardo Christie is going to try to uh, capitalize on these uh, Southern California beauties. And a uh, nice finish. Blast the tail. A little bit of extra oomph. Right behind him, Wilco, with that whip crack backhand. Damn, that is just a thing of brutal beauty. Anytime you see Wilco start to wind up into that bottom turn, you know something mean is going to come right after that. Uh, this is looking like it's going to be a solid heat, a fist fight. Uh, the gloves are off. I, I am in love with that surfing from Ricardo just now. He strung together three real sweet turns. You can see his, he kind of found his feet in the wax. You can see it with these surfers at this level. Whenever they're really positioned perfectly on their board, they're, they're going to do whatever they want. Nice whip out of that, out of that uh, cutback right here on the money. A little better with that second turn and then clicks the tail out the back. So three great maneuvers. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking that's excellent surfing. Uh, and then uh, right when, uh, you know, maybe all that, that magic's gonna go to Ricardo Christie's corner. Perfectly, Wilco right behind him to steal that thunder back. And that's that backhand you're talking about. Vicious, uh, he can just put that on repeat uh, and keep that board flowing back and up. Vertical attack, so a pretty solid score as well from Wilco. I loved on his second to last turn how he as he was even coming down from the turn, he just knifed it. You see right. him just pushing down with his feet to get that board back out, back into the trough to get it one more opportunity. I love that extra little torque right there. And then watch this one's on the money, even better. Nice rail gouge there. And then to mix it up, he gets the fins free out the back. Let's see if the cameraman gets it. He went in to, uh, did a fundraiser at GoFundMe to, to get his way back on tour. And we turned to break, Matty Wilco. There's your flare. Look at that. Nice mix up there with a, a, a little air reverse. Flaring out and a little cutback. Finishing this wave off. So pretty good there. You know, three big moves. That win has really backed off. We haven't seen many left today. But I tell you what, you talk about critical commitment. That was uh, ticking a couple of boxes there. So uh, Matty Wilkinson clawing his way back into this heat. You know, I'm such a fan of Wilco's backhand that sometimes I forget. He's really good at airs, too. One last thing to worry about. Kelly left his boards down here. As we know, you know, we had the measurements the other day for the board he rode, but he's working with a few shapers right now. No logos on here. No measurements on here. He's been, uh, some of these boards are EPS foam. Some of them, uh, of them are regular foam. He's got a round pin. He's got a couple of squash tails here. We'll see what he brings out in round three, but we know it worked well for him in round one, Ross. Right on. Thank you, Todd. Kelly's watching right now going, get away from my board, Todd. He wants to keep those a secret. Well, as we were exploring the uh, locker room there, some of the world's best surfboards out in the water, some of the world's best surfers were lighting this crowd up. We heard cheers coming up for a couple excellent looking waves. 
So Matt Wilkinson with a 6.77 and a 5.23. Let's see if he can uh, better one of those scores. Well, there's that bottom turn. Beautiful. You see how low he got to his surfboard, and he really uses those arms. They kind of fan out to give him that leverage. Big bobble, though, there. He lost a ton of speed and momentum. Wow. And there's a, that board is looking amazing for Ricardo. A lot of speed. Wow, you talk about leverage. Uh, a, a lot of power in that cutback. Uh, so Ricardo, just a slight bubble there as well. Um, you know, that, that section got a little flat. But look, he got a rebate here on the inside and was able to finish clean. So uh, Ricardo slowly but surely pulling away from Wilco. So we're nine and a half to go is another awesome angle of Matt Wilkinson. Yeah, and uh, you know, I love this drone view. You get to see just how this wave works. Kind of shuffles along on that cobblestone. Matty Wilkinson's going to be a little bit bummed at himself for that big bobble here. That's going to probably be a non-issue, that score. It's not going to be a keeper. And then, uh, unfortunately for him, he had a bird's eye view of uh, that hack right there in his face. Ricardo Christie kind of said, that's not a knife. That's a knife. And he tapped that wave from outside to inside. And I like that he ended it, letting the judges know he was in total control. All right, here we go, Ricardo Christie. Big opening gouge. Comes around this section with criminal intent towards that lip. Goes up with the tail slide. Can he come down? Comes unstuck. So, uh, you know, I said both these guys were in trunks earlier, but Ricardo actually going with a long arm or short arm full suit. A um, little bit of a mention. I mean, overheating could yeah. come into play, but he's a pretty thin guy. So, uh, myself, no need for a wetsuit. I got, you know, a little bit of extra millimeters naturally. Ricardo, some of these guys that maybe are a little thin, just they're and they're used to it. A lot right. of guys, you know, Pete Mel from Santa Cruz surfs in a wetsuit all the time, so they're probably used to surfing with a little bit of rubber. Yeah, well, here, you know, look at the display of this carb right there. I, I just, uh, Ricardo is on point right now, and I, I think he had the right choice of maneuvers there, going for a, a big old tail slide on that last move. He wanted to mix it up. Here we go, four minutes, 24 seconds to go. Wilco is gonna go to his backhand. It is lethal, goes vertical in his first turn. Beautiful bottom turn, top turn combination. Another heavy footed backside hook to Wilco. Absolute butchery of this wave. All the way to the end. A confident, confident finish. Psych emanating from Matt Wilkinson. <laughs> That was one of the better claims we've seen in this event, too. I mean, you could feel that energy from here. That was a warrior scream right there. Um, but, geez, you talk about clicking in all cylinders. Again, a lot of times these surfers at this caliber, they respond. If they click really nicely on one of their first maneuvers, it's contagious. It just uh, kind of bleeds into the next maneuver, and they just get better and better. I love that little zippy turn right there. And then gets up and over the, the lip right there and actually projected off that thing. He's got some air under the fins. So, you know, he kind of built momentum as that wave unwound. All right, here's live action. So staying right in this thing is Ricardo Christie. Two nice slashing turns. Big wrapping arc. A little bit of trouble with this kind of weird midsection. He opts out. So he took a whole cow and carved it into a filet mignon right there. An 8.83, <laughs> near perfect score for Matt Wilkinson. It is enough to get him in the lead. Now Ricardo Christie, he needs a big score himself, an 8.11. Maybe Ricardo feeling a little bit comfortable with that lead and, uh, and it came back to bite him right there. So it is gonna be the lethal, deadly backhand of Matt Wilkinson taking down the powerhouse from New Zealand, Ricardo Christie.